Thanks, Mark. Got um, you. So, speedies. Who's familiar with speedies? The indoor go karting? Oh, oh. yeah, the go kart players, right? Yeah. So, speedies. Uh, they weren't able to come during these time slots, but they are interested in doing a project with you guys. And who doesn't want to do a project with go karts, right? So. Um, so I told them I'm, I still want them in the pool even though they couldn't make it, so I'm going to tell you about it a little bit myself. So basically, what they're looking at is they really just want to find a way to use um, the go-karts and their facility to help students um, learn about science, the physics of go-karts, things that are way over my head, but um, that's why we have people like Charlie around that could help. Um, and so it would be an opportunity to partner with them to kind of really get hands on with even taking apart some parts of go-karts and stuff and really learn about the science behind go-karts. Where the project comes in is that you will be creating an activity or a curriculum for younger students that then could be done in maybe a middle school or an elementary school classroom. And so the incentive for a classroom to participate in the, in the program that you develop would be that they would get passes to ride the go-karts for completing it. So I think it could be a really fun, really fun project. But basically, the first steps are spending some time there really learning all about it yourself and then learning it so well that you can create some sort of fun activity around go-kart science for younger students to, to perform. And then finding a way to get classes to do it. Yeah. So you're saying that we're going to have to spend a lot of time with A lot of time with go-karts. <laughs> a lot of time with go-karts. So yeah. Yep. Do you have any questions on it at all? There's a lot of room for developing some of it on your own, too. They're really open to a lot of questions. Yeah, so you say younger students or more elementary students or students? The team, once, it's, once the team is formed, they will have the ability to choose what level. So multiple teams could be working on this. It's awesome we pitch the Nubo location and could do different age levels. I mean, ultimately, there could be activities for every single um, grade level. So the team would choose where to start in terms of what grade level they wanted to create an activity for. Any other questions on this one? No? All right, well then we're